Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Hope everything's going okay in your reef. In mine, it doesn't seem to be going that bad. Uh, in all honesty, uh, since obviously I've done all my cable management and you know the uh, trans transition uh, from the uh, aqua forest to the coral essentials stuff. I've got to admit guys, it's been absolutely rock steady. The tank has been super, super steady um, in terms of alkalinity. Now obviously you know that I run the Calquasso as well. And basically I run the supplements obviously because the Calquasso, the demand of the tank is just too much for the Calquasso to, to sustain. So obviously you need to supplement it and that's hence the reason why you either dose uh, um, Red Sea, uh, sorry not Red Sea, um, Aqua Forest Red Sea or um yeah coral essentials now as you know obviously i've been dosing the uh um aqua forest stuff basically near enough since day one i did have a little spell with red sea on my 170 but since i've been on the 350 nine the majority of the time 90 percent, i think has been on the uh on the aqua forest stuff and it's been great don't get me wrong but there was always little tiny fluctuations with alkalinity mainly to be honest um, and since I transitioned into the Calquasso as well, the Calquasso, obviously that's dosing calcium and alkalinity. And then, you know, I, it took a bit of fiddling to get to get used to it, to get it dialed in sort of thing. But we managed to get there and everything everything was fine. And as you can see, the majority of this growth has come from, from that product. So, yeah, can't speak highly enough of it. Uh, but obviously there was a change. Now, as you know, I'm dosing the CVE stuff into this tank. Um... And yeah, you all know my thoughts on that. I just absolutely love it. You can just see, all I have on this is the orange filter. Um, no editing. I'm not doing, don't do any editing to, the, to, the, to any of my videos that I put up. You can see just, the, if I take this orange filter off, it's just basically the orange filter because I run quite blues. And then I just stick the orange filter on. And as you can see, there is no editing into my videos. It, it's just, this is just what you see um, and stuff like that. But like I said, um, since I've been doing that CVE, I've just been absolutely mind blown with it. To be honest, um, I think it just looks—it's just—it's just set off. Especially the yellows. I don't know what it's whether it's got anything in this stuff, but the yellows—it just seems to pop. Um, I really, really do like it. You know, the the the. I don't, obviously, it's got good good quality ingredients in there. Obviously, um, but yeah, especially for the yellows and stuff like that, uh, and the oranges—they just seem to pop really, really much. Um, which obviously I'm happy about as you know you mainly you get greens and you get your purples and stuff like that but I just think it looks fantastic um, and stuff like that but but yeah I'm really happy with the way the transition's gone uh, into into the uh, CV uh, from the CVE and into the Coral's essential stuff I think it's just a, a fantastic product and yeah I'm going to be uh, continually using that now from now on um, and hopefully um, it will just grow from strength to strength. Like I said before, with the um, Corals Essentials uh, stuff, they've already got all the trace elements in there, so I don't need to add anything. It's just basically set, pour it into the containers, which I have done. I've actually ran out of the CVE. I'm getting some more, but I've actually, I actually I love it that much that I'm actually getting the big 2.75 litre container. Um, and yeah, you just basically pour the, the stuff in. Now you can buy the powdered stuff. That's probably the way I will go um, because it could be could get pretty expensive, I think, if you was getting the uh, containers. I think these, the 2.75 litre containers will last my tank. I'm sure it was about two and a half months, I think it is, per two and a half litre, uh, 2.75 litre container. So yeah, that, that's pretty good to be honest. And like I said, really, it's only maybe, what, four of them. But if I get the powder and mix the solution up myself, I think that will be a lot cheaper. And yeah, I think that is the way the way to go. One thing you will notice is you'll see that on my last video, it was all these blue, the blue rigid tubing. That basically is Ecotec tubing. But what it is with these guys is the actual cut of this has to be absolutely perfect. It has to be so square that it, it can't have hit any it can't have it can't be off by anything 
because basically when you put when you push fit it into it into the actual nozzle if it's not a complete seal like a complete uh, square cut it lets it it sucks the air through and it won't be able to pump the uh, the stuff uh, you know the, the liquid through so basically what you get with uh, ecotech is you get these little adapters and you can put soft tubing on that's what I've done so I've, as you can see I've adapted the all of these adapters and I've put them all on it so and you know what that I've not had a problem with it the only thing, reason why I've not done this one was because I didn't have any more of these I need to get some more of these and I'm going to change it from to the yellow tubing so it'll all look uh, it'll all look neat and then when I do add another one to this that'll be for the CVE I'm going to be obviously doing a different color I think it's I think it was pink I think so I'm going to be doing dosing the pink one there but yeah that's the way that's the way I'm going to be going with that so I think I'll go powder once the liquid runs out and then we'll see we'll see where we go from there but another thing what I do want to mention on the tank as you can see the corals are all looking really really well guys um no really issues the um that this little fox face is doing his job as well as the huge um caught a blender which is hiding basically what he's been doing guys is that blender the, these clownfish have laid eggs and the blender decided to set up home right on top of of this so yeah as you can imagine the clown the clownfish wasn't happy with that and they were just attacking it and for some strange reason it was just staying there and getting bullied and yeah i don't know what his what his idea was doing that but uh yeah he is still alive because i've just seen him before so yeah he's uh he's thriving but uh, he's moved away from there now because obviously that's the clown's domain and they don't want any uh, any intruders there. But the snails are all on the back wall eating the algae. I am, like I said, going to get a few more fish. Um, I've got, I know exactly which ones I want to get, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, saving up and I'm going to be getting some of those clownfish. But another thing, like I said, just be, as I was going off that, if you remember, I had my... Um, my uh, acro which was on this ledge here now i had to move the acro if you remember it was just um i think it was basically getting battered too much by this uh, mp40 and it was just like receding now acros do, do like strong uh, flow they like that sort of stuff but I think that was just giving out too much power. And even though we're running at 40%, it was literally on top of it and it just wasn't liking it. Zoas and stuff like that, they don't mind. They can adapt to any any sort of flow. Uh, they're not really that bothered. So what I've done is I've actually moved him, moved it over to here now again. So yeah, hopefully it'll do well there. And uh, yeah, that's where he originally came from. It just basically snapped off, if you remember. But I'm hoping that he'll recover. There was a bit of die off on there, but we'll see. And we'll see where we go. But another thing what I do want to mention is, as you all know, I don't do much fragging, to be honest. I just basically snap the corals and I basically put them either at the back of the graveyard, which is, uh, you won't be able to see, which is over here, <coughs> at the back of the, the clam, just over there. Or... I'll basically just throw or I'll give um, to, to people when they come round if they do buy anything or, you know, they want anything, then I'll just do that. But I thought to myself, well, <clears throat> obviously, if people do want to buy things and stuff or, you know, things like that, then obviously I want to put them in some containers. And we were talking about some containers to, on the on the live stream a few weeks back. And yeah, I would search the, the website and I found this guy on, on um, eBay. And I thought to myself, you know what he had? To, he was basically just, uh, I'll put a link here or a picture of here, basically of his eBay account and go over and check him if you want to see any, uh, get any any stuff from him. But basically what I did was I reached out and I just said to, I, I put an order in um, and I just asked him whether, you know, whether they would be okay for, for corals and stuff like that. And he said, it's perfect. That's exactly what he deals in. It was just all for corals. And he basically deals with, he has coral fragging sets. He has the bags and stuff like that. So what I did was I placed an order with him. And he basically, he usually sends them out second class, but he sent it out first class to me. Um, and yeah, I received the box today. And here it is. I've not opened it. I've got the little unboxing knife here. So I thought what we'll do is we'll unbox it while, together while we're here and we'll see what we uh, what we purchased. Let's see if I can 
get into this box as you know it's uh it's an absolute nightmare guys try to unbox with uh, one hand but we'll, we'll do our best oh there we go so yeah uh let's get this side here done so yeah so basically what i purchased guys is i purchased some boxes uh, some uh different variety of uh of um frag pots I purchased, in fact I've forgotten actually what else I did purchase here to be honest. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, obviously I'm not going to show you my address, but yeah. This guy, here it is, so basically it all came up, his proper, proper finger, did it all. And he basically, so I purchased some heat packs. Some of the heat packs here, these are 40 hours, these ones I believe 30 hours. So I think I purchased four or five of them. So I got some of them out, put them on the floor. Um, what did I just throw out there? Oh, oh, these are the uh, inserts. These are the foam inserts for for the, the larger containers. So we'll put them down. These are the foam inserts for the... Uh, so the shop is called Coral Frag Supplies UK, guys. So yeah, like I said, I'll put a link and you'll be able to see. So I purchased that as well. Um, oh, these are some more heat packs as well so that's kind of him um, these are the frag pots as well so these ones I believe are 60 mil these are 60 mil frag pots so they'll be perfect for little tiny frags from the from the tank I'll put them there so we don't damage them uh, I don't know what that is oh there oh these are heavy duty uh, frag um, these are heavy duty frag bags these are these are supposed to be really really tough um, so got some of them ones and then I think we just got all these yeah all these pots these are just all big pots and these are the large pots just look at the size of them ones I think these ones are 120 mil so they're both for some decent size for some decent size uh, frags so what I'll do is I'll just put all them together and I'll come back to you in a minute so yeah Right then guys, so we're back in. And this is basically what I've, what I've bought. As you can see, I've got these uh, 20 of the larger 120 mil um, pots. I've got 60 mil of these pots, 20 of them. Obviously these are the inserts. And if you just probably listened, I, I was a bit shocked because I thought I bought the 40 hour ones, which is these two, the, sorry, these three. So I bought three of them. Well, basically when I just looked at the uh, order, Andy um, has put down that he'd included an extra five 30 hour heat packs to try. So really appreciate that. And obviously these are, these are them. Then I ordered 50 of the frag plugs. These ones, to be honest, I thought they were a bit bigger than they were are. They're not as big as I thought, but uh, they'll do. You know what, they'll, they'll be able to stick some frags on them, so it won't be an issue. I also ordered some of the tiles. These are the ones, bang on the ones that I want. I didn't want them too big. Um, and yeah, ordered 20 of them. 25 of these heavy bags, really heavy bags, uh, duty bags for them. And like I said, all of that, guys, I think it came to about £75, I think, £70 or something like that. So I think that's a uh, real good value for money. And yeah, can't wait to, to get it all up. And like I said, it's just uh, a lot better when, you know, people come, they want some frags, rather than just stick them in bags, put them in some pots and yeah. I think it just looks better. Looks a lot better. So really appreciate uh, Coral Frag Supplies for the, for sending me that out and Andy. Yeah. So go over there, guys, if you want. If you're interested in getting any uh, fragging stuff or anything like that, go check him out uh, on in, yeah, on his eBay account. I'll post the link um, in the description below so you can go and check him. And yeah, go and follow follow him. Um, and yeah, uh, like I said, let's uh, support. Let's all support our. Uh, uh, local hobbyists and uh, yeah the small shops because that's what that's what they need at this time for sure uh, so once again guys just a, a quick video hopefully you enjoyed it um, and yeah if you did click the thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down leave a comment below let me know what you think and uh, yeah uh, until next time guys I'll see you on the next video so take care and I'll see you soon